You know, I think every season has kind of its own heartbeat. Um, every team has a different personality and dynamic. We lost a couple of really good players last year. Luke Matier in center field, who was the all-time hits leader here. He's going to be extremely tough, if not impossible, to really replace. So I don't think we, we're going to try to do that. Um, we're going to just try to maybe make up for some of the things that he did collectively. I think that's really our only chance. Um, but the guy from just a leadership standpoint uh, was equally as impressive as he was you know, as a physical baseball player. Uh, and then we also lost Brian Keller, who was, you know, I think he was 12 and two or 12 and three last year. Being able to just give him the ball every opening uh, game of the series on the weekend was, you know, was huge. So similar in with Luke, I, I don't know that we can, you know, replace that on paper or, and, you know, on the field, but just, just collectively try to, you know, come up with um, guys that can give us a steady look in the outfield. and. And then, you know, your, your pitchers are, are guys that just need to pound the zone and, and let their defense play. And I think we have some guys in place that can do that. So, you know, from that standpoint, um, you know, we're excited to see what we got. Even though we have only four or five true freshmen, we actually have another four or five um, returning freshmen. So seven of our 18 position players are freshmen. So we've got some guys that, that we've got to get some experience quickly. Um, interject them where we can to get them at some opportunities but I do think we have a couple guys a couple of freshmen that are that are about game ready and are going to give us a, you know a competitive at bat or a competitive inning right away here so I, I'm encouraged with what we see we added uh, you know a couple of transfers that I think uh, at least a couple on the mound and then um, Ben Cholly at third base will be our everyday third baseman should hit in the middle of the order right now he's kind of fighting a health issue but hopefully we'll have him back sooner than later um, and then a couple of guys on the mound, uh, Brandon Parr, which I think will either be a piggyback starter or be our closer. I think as we move forward, we'll kind of see how that plays out. But uh, Pound's the bottom half of the zone, um, upper 80s to 90 mile an hour guy with um, pretty good game savvy. So he's got good arm side run and got some life. So he should be a guy that gets early ground balls. Hopefully, at least that's the idea. And then Clayton Uselman, um, Big, strong left-handed kid that, that can really throw a breaking ball for strikes when he wants to, and also as a guy that's you know been up around 90 miles an hour. And I mean, we're coming up here Friday. We get going, and uh, I think our schedule will be challenging for sure, as it as it should be. It needs to be. Our league is challenging. Uh, every weekend is a dogfight, really, from you know the best team in the league to the to the last place team. I think every weekend you got to fight to win the games, and that's how it should be. I think our, our league is healthier than it's ever been in that way, and. Um, and you can see with uh, you know the increased um, rankings and RPI level that our league has, the jumps that we've made in the last handful of years. Um, you got a lot more draft picks coming out of the league. Um, schools are investing time and money, and um, and it's starting to show. And and uh, we're excited just to be part of it, and and really look forward to just competing really really hard every single weekend, and and having a lot of fun doing it. And uh, I know our guys are going to fight tooth and nail, um, you know, pretty much every pitch, so can't wait.